Hello everybody, James and Nitty 532 here. So, today, we is taking a look at Mavis the Quarry Engine. Not Thomas, Mavis, yes. So, Mavis here was made using a Tomy Toby that I had lying around. I had once used it for my Railway Series Toby. My blue Toby, if you guys really remember that. It's in, I'm pretty sure it's in the Custom Showcase video. Or Custom Showcase playlist. Or maybe it's in the unlisted. I don't remember, quite frankly. But, yeah. So, I used that Toby. Because I have a new Toby. I like that Toby better. So, I cut off the cab. And I put the cab on the old chassis and went from there. I built this extension. This thin, small, short extension. That goes out. Really far. Not really far, but out enough. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, why'd you make Mavis? The Tommy Mavis is perfect, and you didn't really do anything different from the Tommy Mavis. Well, if I can find the Tommy Mavis here, let's, let's look at it. Let's, let's take a look at the Tommy Mavis, shall we? The Tommy Mavis is so ugly, it can give the Tommy Oliver a run for its money. Uh, boo, boo, you stink, boo. And you might be saying, Eddie, don't be such a prick. Well, guess what? I disagree. <laughs> Let's take this Mavis off for a second. And let me explain why this Tommy Mavis is so dang ugly. Okay, so it's really long. Let's acknowledge that. It's, it's really long. Like, look at it. It makes one of my longest models, Neil. Look at it. Look at how long it is, man. It's huge. It's longer than Neil. One of the biggest models in my collection. Like, it's so big. It could give the Gage 1 James a run for its money. It's that long. Like, look at it. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe it's not that long. Ever. No. No. Mm -mm, no. And I understand the battery and everything, but mm -mm, no. <laughs> um, now, let's explain another problem with Tommy Mavis. The side plates and the cow catchers. Look at how short they are. I can see the wheels. I can put side rods on this thing. But it still run perfectly fine. Yeah. Um. And also, it's ugly because... There's way too much front space. It's way too wide. Not only is it way too long, it's really wide. Mavis is not really wide. She's actually kind of thin. So, like... Look at all this empty space next to her face. The face is actually pretty good, actually. I, I like, I like, the, I like the face. Yeah, look at all the space, though. Look how small the buffer beam is. You're not the Tommy Duck. You can't do that. Ugh. On both sides, too. Yeah. And the Tommy Mavis is ugly because... I don't know. That's all I really had. That's why I hate the Tommy Mavis. Well, I don't hate it. It's actually... If you take it out of context and put this as a Tommy scaled, like, if you look at it as a toy, not as a prop replica, it's actually pretty good. Anyway. Anyway, that's not the Mavis we're supposed to be talking about, but that's the Mavis that inspired me to make this. Yeah. So, uh, it's not as long as the Tommy Mavis. Granted, not even the Gage 1 James is as long as the Tommy Mavis. So, yeah, it works just fine, doesn't it? Yes. It's shorter. It doesn't have the vents on. I know, I know, it doesn't have the vents. I'm still figuring out a good way to make those. <laughs> Once I do, I'll probably put some on Boko and Mavis. Once I finish making Salty Part 2. And then Derek. I do plan to make Derek. Um, I'll probably put vents along here. I was stupid and didn't do yellow along here. The front part. And so you know what? I don't care. Because I hate doing the yellow wasp stripes. They look really good. Like, look at the back of me. Oh my gosh. But it's a real pain. It's a pain to do. So I just didn't with Mavis. Um, yeah. And then I went along. I covered her side plates. Or I didn't cover her side plates. I made side plates. Um, that was just a strip of softer cardboard. And then her cow catcher was done the same way I made Toby's. 
not going to tell you how I made Toby's. you got to go watch the video for that. Um, the cow catcher did look really good, though. Uh, I did the cow catcher on the back, too. That looks really good. I gave her a buffer beam. I remember to do that. Um, and the wasp stripes here look really good. They're cool. Looks like she's wearing sunglasses on her, on her ass. Um, the sides. Instead of, pu instead of putting the Fly Car Quarry Company, I put TFQC. What would have been FQC, but I decided to put T. Because I originally put TFQ. But then I realized it was the Far Quar Quarry Company. So I put a C. Also, I put Mavis, oh, her name, right here. And outlined her windows in white. Which I didn't do with other engines, but... Mavis's windows aren't 3D, because I couldn't figure out how to do that and make it look good. So I just outlined them all in white, her front windows too. And then... I went to bulk dry brushing her with gray. Everywhere. And I like how this turned out. Even if you, it's only attached to like the masking tape marks. I like it because it shows just like. You can see this is still like a weathered what, quarry engine. You know. It gets the point across that she is supposed to be a hard working quarry engine. Yeah. Um, this little thing up here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. Looks like a funnel, to be honest. It was made out of a straw, so it might as well be. Yeah, I cut it in half and thinned it and glued it and, yeah, glued it on. And I painted it gray instead of just leaving it black because reasons. I don't really know why I did that, but I like that I did that. Um, just a little different from the other Mavises I've seen. Um, yeah. Oh, her face. Um, her face was used from an old Frankie model I tried to make. I do plan to make Frankie eventually. But I used a Mavis for it, and that's where we got the face from. And I repainted the face. And I gave her lipstick. I know some of you guys probably hate that, because it low-key backtracks her character arc, visually at least. But I, I'm okay with it, just because the Railway Series did it, so why can't I? It helps indicate that she's female, which is something I've been struggling with, especially with, like, Belle's face. It took me so long to make her look female. That's something I struggled with, so I just, like, mm, you know what, screw it, she has lipstick. Yeah, get over yourself. Yeah, that's really all I have for Mavis today. A little bit of a longer one, but that's not all I have for today, is it? Diesel. The body to start free rolling. Thank you, Diesel. Um, yes. I decided to do Diesel as well. Well, I didn't really decide to do him the same day I did Mavis. I just kind of... This is like a recent thing I did. I'm just like, hmm, it'd be really cool if I did Diesel. So I did Diesel. Um, I took an old Tommy Diesel, which at one point I had made into Dodge. Like, I just wrote Dodge on the side and said, good enough. I don't know. <laughs> That's just sort of my thought process. Because I had a splatter. But then I didn't have a Dodge. Then I got a Dodge and I just threw away Diesel, pretty much. Because I didn't really like Diesel as a kid. I went, ugh, he's boring. I hate him. He hates the steam engine, so I hate him. Grrr. Grrr. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm like, hey, Diesel, he's cool. I'll, I guess I'll repaint him. I didn't, get, wait, yeah, I did. I repainted him black to cover up the Dodge. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you may have heard the clicking. I don't know what I did to him, but so, sometimes he'll, like, get stuck as if he doesn't have a battery in him, so I have to click him a few times, and then he'll start free rolling like that. Yeah. I didn't really just want to leave him black, because black is like every diesel ever. So I thought, hmm, what's something interesting I can add to diesel? So I looked up class 08s in black. And I saw one of them had red rods. That's what I've inspired. So I added the red rods on the diesel. I added red foot footsteps on both sides. And red ladders. I like the, it adds a little splash of color to diesel without... Interrupting his evilness, you know, his intimidation. Um, I also gave him a BR logo, which 
not Bell's kind of BR logo, but I gave him like an old style BR logo, which I actually did really good. And I might try to put on Bell one day if I repaint her ever. Probably not. Oh, I also gave him red handrails to the cab. Can't really see that, but. Yeah, and then I mod podge him. This was literally started and finished the same day. Shocker, right? Uh, yeah, I gave him white windows in the front because Tommy couldn't be bothered to make those 3D. <laughs> Joking, mostly. Um, yeah, so that's Diesel. I repeated his face, which I'm, I did a really good job on his face. Let's just say that. I'm good at repainting faces, but yeah, not so much drawing them, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that's all I really have to for today. So that's been Mavis the Quarry Engine, engine ugh, Mavis the Quarry Engine, and Diesel the Diesel Engine. But why did you name him Diesel? Anyway, so I suppose I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, bye.